I'm exploring central Germany. My travels have taken me to Kassel in the state of Hessen. From Frankfurt, you can get here by train in just one and a half hours. Usually, Kassel is a pretty quiet place, but every five years, the town is turned upside down and art lovers from all over the globe swarm into this small city. The reason is Documenta, the world's biggest and most important art show. For 100 days, the entire city is turned into a museum with works of art and exhibitions wherever you look. This year, Documenta is expected to attract about a million visitors and as you can probably imagine, that sends the entire city into a state of euphoria. And today, we're going to explore the madness together. The city center is just a short tram ride from Wilhelmshöhe station. Friedrichplatz Square is right in the center of Kassel and it's the heart of the exhibition. This is where you'll find Documenta's most striking exhibit, the Parthenon of Books. It's just as big as the original on the Acropolis in Athens. 70 meters long, 30 meters wide, and 20 meters high. That's especially fitting because this documenta is taking place in Athens as well as Kassel. I love it. Incredible. From farther away with the plastic and the colors in between, it almost looks like a giant toy. The Parthenon and Castle is filled with books that are banned somewhere in the world or that once were. The Little Prince, it's crazy. Sometimes it's surprising to see like certain like a child like books to be like forbidden. I read Goethe's Sorrows of Young Werther at school and it's here. And I wonder why and where Twilight is banned. The Parthenon isn't completely filled with books just yet. That's why Argentinian artist Marta Minujín has asked visitors to bring their own books. Documenta checks whether they are or were banned. Then they're registered, sealed in plastic, and finally hung up on a column. This is very difficult to understand, but just uh, I just I just feeling this is art. On Königsplatz Square, right in the middle of Kassel's pedestrianized zone, you'll find an obelisk by Nigerian-born artist Olu Ogibe. It's engraved with a Bible quotation: "I was a stranger, and you took me in." In several languages. But most of the artworks are indoors and not free of charge. They can be viewed in the many museums throughout the city. A day ticket costs 22 euros. And there is so much to see. If you want to absorb it all, you'll need plenty of time on your hands. Hercules statue is Castle's landmark, and from its huge pedestal, he has a pretty good view of the city. I have to admit, the guy's in good shape for his age. He's been here for 300 years. The Hercules sits right in the middle of Wilhelmshöhe Park, a landscape park that was declared a World Cultural Heritage Site by the UNESCO in 2013. In the summer months, huge crowds gather here to watch the famous monumental water displays. And I don't think all these people can be wrong, so why don't we go check them out? The water features here have worked for more than three centuries. The water comes from huge rainwater tanks and you can follow its course all the way from Hercules down to the castle. At every section, the water supply has to be turned on by hand.
The spectacle lasts for more than an hour. It culminates with a 50-meter jet of water that rises above the fountain pond. You'll find just as much greenery in Karlsaue Park with the historic Orangery Palace. And you'll stumble upon another piece of art, The Mill of Blood by Antonio Vera Macotela from Mexico. Hard to imagine that these kinds of mills once ran on human power. Indigenous people in Bolivia were forced to mint coins for the colonial masters on these machines. Documenta visitors can turn the mill if they want, but just like the slaves, they don't get to keep any of the money. They just quickly see it pass by. This is another prominent piece that can be seen around town. Artist Ibrahim Mahama from Ghana has completely covered Castle's old guardhouse with jute sacks. During the Documenta months, the city never really rests. There's always a lot going on, even long after the museums have closed for the day. I do have to say I really enjoyed my day in Castle, even if it might have been a bit tricky to interpret all of the art. It was so much fun to see what the artists have made of the city. So if you get the chance to pop by, you should by no means miss out on it. Documenta is still on until September 17th. So come on over here because the next edition won't happen until quite some time. Documenta is next in town in 2022. Oh.